when listening to music, it's not always the big things that make a song stand out. The same goes for photography. Whether it be in the foreground or background, it is the use of small attention to detail that causes an attraction between the audience and an image. In this sense, music and photography are very similar. Both are compositions, allowing complete creativity and diversity throughout all components. From the big things such as key or subject, all the way to the little attention to detail, like a ring or facial expression. When Beethoven went on writing his symphonic pieces, he didn't just write a major chord progression and leave it there. It was the layering of instruments and the harmonic style that filled the composition, giving it life and rhythm and true meaning. And just like Beethoven, photographers are using an empty canvas, filling it with foreground and background, color, texture, depth, tone, shape, contrast, all these features layered together to render imagination. What makes a photo to me would probably be the rules of it to make it at least a good photo. I'd say if something strictly adheres to like a known compositional standard, if it has like proper lighting, um, contrast, balance, all like the nine design principles and whatnot. If it adheres to some of those, I'd say that makes a photo an intentional photo. Other than that, it's just a picture. A photo from an image to me, the difference is intentionality. If a photographer goes out with a set purpose and a goal and achieves that goal, to me that's a photo. If not, if it's just someone snapping a picture, it's just a picture. The difference between a selfie and a portrait is one's just taken at the spur of the moment and another one is planned and thought out and it's a process. I definitely classify photography as a style of art in my opinion. I think at the end of the day there's an artist behind the camera and they're the ones choosing what the shot and the composition looks like. Anyone can take a photo but only an artist can take a great picture. And yeah, at the end of the day, I think you do have to have an artistic eye and a sense of style to be able to create a good image. And those who don't, won't. After Lawson's input, I decided to head out into Brisbane City to get a full understanding of what other people thought made a photo stand out from the crowd. When you look on social media like Instagram or Facebook and you see a good photo, what do you think sets that out from the rest? I don't know, a good eye. Maybe uh, if you get a good background, uh, good texture in the color. Um, maybe like the meaning behind it, the motive, like why why it was taken. Some people in it, background. Yeah. I guess or like foreground, background. Or what, type of, what type of equipment they used. Like for example, you could have like the best like camera on a phone. Or you could have like those expensive cameras that you can buy. Maybe like a good colour contrast? I guess, yeah. For me, it would be like um, the best angles. I mean, if you hit that perfect angle, that's just make the whole photo like look even better. Like no matter what time, day, night, yeah. it just looks good at the perfect angle. What do I think sets it out from the rest? I think setting, you know, I think it's a, when people have been thoughtful about the background and, you know, too many people take a photo and it's just a subject that they, they haven't thought about what's around it. And, uh, so that's what I notice. Why do people take photos? For many it's to capture a specific moment in time, but what many people don't understand is that imagery is actually a powerful language. The brain processes visual information 60,000 times faster than written information. The saying, a picture says a thousand words, doesn't even begin to comprehend the true capabilities of a photo. So I ask again, why do people take photos? People take photos to capture a specific moment in time. Photographers, however, we take photos to create, to communicate, to share, to inspire. The list goes on and on. The reality is though, there is no direct answer to this question. Our human brain can only process things at such a rate. And what one person sees may not have the same effect on someone else. It's our chemistry and individuality that makes everyone different. 
and photography allows people to express their differences in whichever ways they wish to be interpreted. It's a form of communication that goes beyond words.